The Redeemer has risen. Hey, what is up guys? Master Steve here, back to do another first person video. And today I've got something a little bit different for you all. It's going to be a guide on how to micro cultists. I feel that this has to be covered and Many people have asked me in the past, how do I control cultists? How is it that I am able to control cultists the way I do? You know, even pro players such as Phoenix in the past did not know some of the things I'm about to show you all. Anyways, I've decided to pick a pretty map for this one. And yeah, let's get into this, shall we? So it's gonna be cultist micro. And I know a couple of you guys out there have been wondering why I never put an on-screen keyboard in my game. And you're right, let's bring up an on-screen keyboard. It's gonna be good for demonstrational purposes, but I wouldn't put it in my games as an FPV. But for this use, it's great, because I can show you all the keys that I'm using. And just a quick recap, I am using the default hotkeys, so I haven't changed anything at all. Anyways, got a bunch of cultists here, 11, and it's a scripted map, this, so let me just do you give you a quick rundown on what's gonna happen. All these APCs are heroic, so one micro mistake, I'm gonna lose all of these cultists here, I can assure you. There's a trigger line here, so when I move these cultists forward, these APCs are gonna rush straight in and move to the bottom of the map. So the AI will just destroy my cultist squads. Uh, but I'm going to show you all a number of techniques on how to micro the cultists. So the first technique will involve the mind control. I'm not sure if you can see that because the keyboard overlay, but yeah, there is mind control. And a lot of people use control A with a bunch of cultists selected. So we're gonna see how that does in this first technique. We're gonna use the control A technique. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spam control A on these APCs. And I'm gonna do my best to take over these APCs. As you can see, I just got torn up completely. It wasn't really the AI just tore me up there totally, man. And that's what most people use to control their cultists. It works okay if you're up against a few units in panic situations, but against mass anti-infantry vehicles, such as the APCs, it's not gonna work. So yeah, I'm gonna show you all a different trick now. All right, guys, this next trick is going to involve something a little bit different. Uh, I think even the pros of this game don't do this anyways. It has to do with a number of things. One, planning mode, and two, unit grouping, as well as F key control. So I'm going to explain what each of these things mean in this scenario. So I've got a couple of cultists here. Selecting 11 cultists is really hard to go through the F keys. So a lot of the time on my FPVs, you see me cycling through these F keys to control my cultists, but it's really, um, impractical going to F11. So I've devised a way to make it easier and it's actually rather obvious. What you do is you select a bunch of cultists, put them into control group number one, and then you select another group of cultists, put those into group number two, and another set into group number three. This way, when you press F1, F2, F3, F4, you know, these are easy to reach hotkeys. So that's pretty sick. So. The next trick involves planning mode. So I'm going to use these control groups, which I just made in conjunction with the planning mode to make my orders in advance on these APCs. And it's very, very quick. So I'm gonna select these cultists and I'm just gonna quickly take these APCs over. And of course the AI is not inactive. And it didn't take me very long to do that, did it really? Got all those APCs, and we're gonna see what happens in this instance with our cultists. The APCs are rushing forward once again. They're gonna go and try and take out these cultists, but you're gonna see very soon that not even a single cultist squad will go down in this particular fight. So look at the difference there, man. Using the planning mode, the groups, and the F keys, just totally swung that fight in my favor by a long shot. So that's a pretty good uh, way of dealing with mass APCs or mass gun walkers. Alright guys, and another trick and method that people like to use with their cultists is waypoint mode. So what they do is they select all their cultists and then they just waypoint the enemy units. So this is what Green Zero does in his videos, but it's easy to click the ground with this. And 
you know, they just move forward and it just doesn't work really well. It's not as reliable as the method I just shown you all. And those APCs clean me up. I could have done a better job there, but the problem with waypoint mode is that the cultists have a tendency of just moving into the APC before they capture them. So I don't really recommend waypoint mode. I guess in some situations it can be useful, like if if you it's better than the control A method against the APCs, but it's a lot worse than the planning mode and the groups, which I'd done before. But that obviously takes a little more time to set up, but I don't think it took a really, really long time to do. Also, those APCs, man, they just went up that mountain. How about that? All right, guys, in this final showcase, I just want to highlight something to do with the waypoint mode. And that is if you right click on an enemy unit, you can then waypoint them into garrison structures, which is actually really good on maps such as Small Town USA. Cultists on that map are super oppressive because of this. So I'm going to take over these APCs here and I'm going to send these cultists into these, uh, these bank garrison or structures here. As you can see, there's garrisons here. So I'm going to just take these over and As you can see, took all them over, and I've got refuge in these towers. Didn't have to order the cultists after taking the unit to go in there, because the command was already made. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed this small cultist guide. Something I put together real quick, and yeah, I will do more of these uh, sort of guide-like videos. Uh, I guess this could probably deserve a video on its own, but I will have this part of my FPV series as well. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this trick. And if you did, then don't forget to hit that like, that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss more of these hints and trip tricks in the future. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoy these games. These games versus future were pretty intense, pretty fun. So yeah, this is Master Leaf. Peace out. Twice I emp my hex of the tripod, and then I uh, misclicked the prodigy twice. Ugh. Too many misplays. This is what happens when your mouse DPI isn't set correctly. Like, it should be bloody obvious by now. What are you going to be here? I'm going for a little push here with the um, Black Disciples. I'm assuming that he's not Nod. I'd rather him not be Nod when I do this. You know, knowing my luck, he'll be Nod when I do this. But I'll go and take out those Tybrum Spikes with the uh, infantry. Okay, this might actually work out for us here. If he's if he scrint, oh my god, I just cancelled my upgrade. Oh, I'm not focusing at all. This is what I did in the tournament too. Oh my god. Need to focus a little bit more. Let's get out there. Find a good spot. I can't, just can't stand hex laming. Well, the fact of the matter is, uh, I wouldn't have lost with the hexling if I didn't miss clicks. So, there you go. Get this online. Gonna probably go for the swarm support power to take these out because I'm a bit late on this. Buzzer comes out of the fog just to go and see what the deal is, what's going on. No descents, however, for him. 
can see two power plants, so you'll be like, okay, there's gonna be an one of those coming. Um, no flame tank, I hope. See, this is why I don't hex lame in my 2v2s as well, because everyone's like, oh, leave, why are you hex lame? And this is the first time I've done it, like, forever. Bear in mind, guys, you can't even see that I'm going for a... No, Reckoner. Reckoner, fuck me. Can I not remember my hotkeys? Just get old, man. You'll have a Devour tank in his base. I'm gonna go ahead and take out that other spike of his. Where's that other flame tanks over here? He can lose his ref, believe it or not. Come on, take it out, take the ref out. Yes. I'm moving out of an empty harvest here. That's a mistake. Well, this flame tank's just gonna bug around and it's gonna be like, you know what, I'm not gonna do anything. Well, he's onto that, at least. He, he's going for the cultist, but he was expecting mass. Flame tanks, where's that for Reckoner, man? I'm totally lost here, it's down here. Could've got that harvester, didn't though. Of course, cultists will be a problem. Definitely will be an issue. You got more cultists here, mate? I don't think you do, but I can just go ahead and crush this. Does micro it. Oh, I just revealed the other Reckoner. Oh my god, I'm sending harvesters to his base. <laughs> oh, fuck me. This is so embarrassing. I'm just playing like an absolute noob. Like an absolute noob, man. He's onto that there. Alright, take that out. Oh no, don't don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Where's my buggies over here? I've only got five halves, oh my god, come on. Make some more harvesters already. Really should have been trying to take out that expansion of his earlier. Can you even use my own black hand squad against me? Any cultists here? You've got a couple of seekers. You're going to now take up to tier 3, aren't you? Okay, he's going for mass cultists and mecha piece now. So he's going for the mecha spam. What do I do in this position now? He's gonna take out my spike with my own flame tank. That's unfortunate. Okay. Um, I suppose I just go for, I don't know, bike buggy. I think that's my only option, really. I'll go do that. I 
I'm losing my own stuff to my own units as well. That's a misfortunate. Make a peed there. That will be dealt with in due course. That can squad will get taken out. However, I need to go ahead and see what he's going to do. Like, if he's going to try to do the tripods or what. He could be trying to, like, fake out the, the mechapedes. But for now, it doesn't appear like he is. He's just going to spam mechapedes out. That's fine. Uh, bike buggy is the way to stop that, as far as I'm concerned. So I'll just spam bike buggies. See if they can try and take out his harvester while this is all going on. Uh, black hand tech's pretty hopeless too. I think I'm just going to go into bean cannons afterwards. That's going to be a good option for me. Maybe bean cannon transition for his next move, which will be mass tripods. Dev ships. As expected, he's going to now start massing those out. Those tripods. Okay. Let's go take these these engagements nice and slowly. Oh shit. Not actually looking there, so he's going to lose his mechapedes. I'm going to take this slowly, no need to rush. Don't want to waste my funds if I can help it, so. Get that scout ahead, see what we can find. You can see the hexapod. Wanna go ahead and snipe this dev ship here. That'll go down. Oh, that hex is going to die if he's not careful. Come on, take out that drone. There we go. That's great. Can I take out that hex or is it just not going to shoot? I should be really making some bike buggy too, so I'll go do that. Okay. I know if he's got a backup bill queue, but definitely need some bike buggies to contend with this. Maybe we could take those husks too. Let's go ahead and deal with those. Oh, bikes, I guess that, Mecha piece, that makes sense too. Make sure I don't crush those husks. If I can take those tripod husks, that's going to be great. 
However, I feel he'll have some trouble trying to kill those. Come on. Well, that could have been worse. Still alive in this game. Do I have the harvest down here yet? Heroic bike. Not something you see every day. I don't want that to lay into, get, get into to his control though. This Reckon is still alive too, amazingly. He's got a war factory there. Go ahead and take out these. Um, oh, no, Bang. I think that's going to probably die that there. It's got a couple mecha peas, but that's really about it. Gonna have that blue tip running in soon, and that's gonna be just amazing. If I can get that. Let's go quickly take out this war factory here as well. Take it out, Hex up, we'll go down. Wow, that actually did work, surprisingly. <laughs> we'll put tournament position, okay, we'll play that one after this. I don't know why you complain so much about the maps though. I mean, when this game came out, we played like four maps because that's all there were. Now you're complaining that we're playing seven maps? Play any non-tech map. Well, thing is we're playing random and uh, the non-tech maps are uh, Spike Poker Galore, and who wins Spike Poker maps? Oh yes, Traveller59. So if I'm gonna play those maps space, then I'd have to pick Black Hand, because if I don't pick Black Hand, then I lose the game to Spike Poker. So this is why I'm not playing ma maps like that. I assure you, there's reasons for this. So we can bait, 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 bait these in. Bait, 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 bait. Da, 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 da. Come on, kill that. Keep the top of the map scattered though, just in case he's got a swell of the sins. He could do the sins. He's like, oh yeah, Leaf just won that game with the sins last game. I'm just gonna amass like 10 the sins and kill him from two sides. He's gonna hit me from two sides probably. So we'll go see if that is the case. Your comments though are really distracting. Unless he's delaying this, I don't know what's going on right now. Could be that he is. It's possible. Very possible. Hmm. You know what's variety? Variety? It is descents. I mean, not descents, rig. We go for a rig. It's a 
we'll go build that now. Well, they are, because there's contested spikes on all of them. Let's go for a bunch of APC rockets. With the AP ammo upgrade. Go, go with that. Go get it. Actually. I'm expecting something to like sneak... Sneak, sneaky, sneaky. Out of the fog of war. It's going for seekers. Okay, well, that's cool. Cool story, bruh. Still looking photos to synth squads, but I can't see any on the map anywhere. Going for guns. Gunwalkers. But you know what you won't expect, guys? The rig. We will not expect the rig to come. I see. So you're going to take up to tier 3. I see what you're going to do. And you're going to scatter with that gun walker. I understand exactly what you're doing. Actually, we can take out this here, can't we? Look at him, he's not even scouting, and he knows that there could be air coming. Can't do that now. So he's going to see the orc. Actually, it may just want make one just to fool him. That's what I'll do. Are we going to put a storm column down? I would imagine. Cultists, really? Just get that hammerhead out then, and Bob's your uncle. Wait, how'd I lose that there? Oh, he must have used the swarm. Come on! Didn't account for the buzzer swarm support power. That was something that I didn't really account for. Got this random ass rig there doing work. I think he may have some more descents in the top of the map. So I'm gonna go find out if that's the case. I think he's gonna try and hit me with that. Killing my own units here, as you can see. I know what he's doing, but he should take up the tier 3 very soon. He thinks I'm still going for this rig tactic, but I'm totally not. Totally not doing that. Got the rocket heads nonetheless. Pretty good. He's also teched up the tier three. Gets the scout in. 
You see, he's got really good. Uh, he's really good at guessing what I'm going to do. I will say that. Maybe he's got got some decent stuff at the top of the map too. That's possible. Just go ahead and take out this tiger broom spike of his as well. So you get that shard launcher online too. I'm just going to use these just to control the map and I go for two firehawks too. Actually, no, we don't need to because we can delay, deny the expansion with that. I'm actually going for a shatter tank here because I think he may go for a bunch of mechapedes. Like he has to be trying to attack me from like the edge of the map. Go just dig some foxholes all over the place here. Go for the imp as well. You know what he's probably going to try? He's going to try some wormhole tactic on me. That's what he's going to do as well. Hmm. Maybe we could take out that prodigy. He's going to use the wormhole. There's no doubt about that. Okay. Of that, I have no doubt he'll have the prodigy. I'm just going to play it cool like Green Zero. Exactly like Green Zero would. It's got that shark launchers. Oh, here we go. Here's the, um, the wormhole. He's going to use this wormhole tactic, man. You wait for it. Try and find that prodigy. He's got so much anti air, hasn't he? Yeah, there's so much that I can't even get past there. Oh my god, he can't even get into his base due to how many things he has. Oops. It's going to be a problem if I'm not careful here. No, no, kill, kill the, the buzzers. There we go. Again, expecting the wormhole, so just going to do this. He's not going to get in there at all. If anything, he's probably going to lose his Hexa. Where's that Prodigy? There. You know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to snipe that Prodigy and get his Hexapod right when it counts. Oh, fuck! Fuck me, that was bad. Oh my god, I really needed those hammerheads. I really, really needed them. Oh, 
Okay. Well, we took that out at least. That's very, very nice. To any amp that I haven't used here. Come on, get that hexapod. Kill him. Just great. It's going to be pretty sick, this. He loses his drone ship now as well. Ooh, almost get it. Almost got that. Got a ton of tripods there. Actually, we could probably just push him with everything we got. Before he gets another tech down. Doesn't have his hexapod. Man, this is actually working out here. That's pretty awesome. Just don't see how he's going to contend with this, man. Such a huge army. Got that hexapod. Got everything there. I really need to get. Really struggling. Okay, another commander in here as well, actually, and maybe even a rig. That's gonna be GG. Did you see that timing, guys? I got his tier three, his prodigy, bam, hexapod down. That's GG. So just taking it slow. Doing that, and you can, you know, absolutely obliterate hexalaming. Yeah. Zircon's not bad on this map. Go for some zone heads. Haven't used those in a while. Is this the regular tournament decision? No, it's not. It's the no poker one. Okay. Well, a few deci decisions I did could have done differently in that last game. Really, the, the reason I lost was because I went for hard points instead of stratifier boosters. So that the, essentially I made firehawks for no reason, which is, they did nothing. Didn't kill the tech. They'd kill the tech, but it was too late. He got so much out by then. So, pretty huge fail. Nonetheless, also going to be a GI as well. Well, that means no zone heads. The game I wanted to do zone heads. Nope, can't do them. Oops. I might be able to win that bunker down there. No, he wins that fight, unfortunately. Gets that bunker too. Yeah. Got the whole map scouted. It's not good. I got to go for a pitbull, I think, unless he tries to rush me, which is possible. I don't think he'll go for a rush, but we'll go for a pitbull anyways, just to confirm. He's been a bit unpredictable lately. He should know that I'm Zocom because it tells you on the rifle squad that I've got um, Tiberium field suits. Come on. Now, does he have that tower? No, he doesn't. 
get some repairs myself there. Got this one Pitbull side. Got one little victory in this game, which is very nice. Very, very nice. Well, stop from getting this bunker here. Go get that scout off as well. Okay. Go for some APC imp. Chuck in the Zorkas as well because we can use those Zorkas to, to you know, aim down his anti-air and stuff. That's what we'll do. So what I'll do is I'll go for the infantry now. Get the upgrades for them. Try and stop him from scouting this though. Quick as much as possible. It's going to the bottom Tiberium field as well. Okie dokie. All right, let's go. It's just upgrading the upgrade here. Yeah, it is. You see, if he's taking that tie room over there, we're going to punish him if he does. AP ammo too, that's what I need. Damn, he got so much funds money out, didn't he? Holy crap. All right. Got the Zorkers. We can try and do some damage with those. Maybe take out some Harvesters. AP ammo is a bit late. That's a problem. There's only way to one way to kill these juggernauts, which is with the orcas. That's why I've got these here. Fuck. All right, take that out. You need some sonic emitters and stuff, I think, to deal with this. I'm going to go to the top of the map, actually, with this outpost. Because I'm not probably going to defend this area off for a long time. You need some firehawks, I reckon. Yeah, it's enough APCs for my liking now. Let's stop with those. Alright, here goes nothing. Firehawk goes down. Shit takes out two of those. That's bad. Oh, 
god, how do I contend with these freaking Firehawks on this map? My outpost is so slow. Well, here goes the A, def the defenses. Come on, take that out. That juggernaut. There we go. Damn it. This outpost over here? Yeah, it is. All right, great. If I just keep making orcas, then maybe I have a chance. Just need to just need to hold for a little longer while I get an expansion down on the other side of the map. This thing takes ever forever to deploy, deploy, man. Like seriously, it takes ages to deploy that. Oh my god. Back. Fucking base pushing. Like, what do I do in, in this matchup against this? Fuck. Now he's got an expansion up here now. How do I contend with that? This just Zocom has nothing against jugs at all. They don't they can't kill them. That these last two matches have been absolutely bullshit for me. Double Sonic, oh my god, this is just stupid abuse, man. Uh, can't even kill that. Come on, kill the Sonics already. There we go. I've got nothing against this strategy as this faction. Can't do anything against it. Tournament decision. Have to play Zocom versus, uh, and then the game before Steel Talons against Skrin. Yeah, that's balanced, isn't it? It's not that I didn't see that coming. It's just you need cultists against flame tanks. Without Devara tanks and that number, you just can't beat them. I mean, I knew when I saw three plus, I should have gone Coltus at that moment. That was my mistake. Yeah, you know, I, if you, if I, if it were me a few years ago, I would have never lost to that. No, because you know, back then I would have known. You know, I need Coltus, and it would have been instantly, like instantly, I would have known Coltus spam. But now it takes me a little longer to remember the ideal counter. Just a little slower than before. And the meta really hasn't changed either. Mm, a little bit disappointing, some of my decision making today, but it is what it is, I guess. Okay, pretty good group control though. I'm quite happy about that. Oh, except for that there. Yeah, except for that golden opportunity. Like if I had perfect micro, would have been able to kill that rifle squad. So really mechanically is where I'm at fault. Not, not really anything else, just a bit slower in general. That's why I'm struggling. And I ask myself these questions because I really love to know why, and that's why, because I'm just a little slower now than I was. I really don't think I would have had much difficulty being Futurama um, two years ago. It's 
So yeah. Go see what he's up to. Gonna go for that expand, no doubt. Rifle as he's kept for scouting. We'll go see where the MCV is. The MCV not here. Not there. Why is it so late though? You got a Titan around the back? Um, yeah. Where's that other buzzer squad? We can get this down here just to scout what he's up to. Where's that buzzer? It's over here. I'm going to fuse the buzzer to this. Go for the eco. The synths are reduced in the kill. is like I know a lot of players would rather go for the harvesters, but you know, I'm just going to make these just to kill. Here's Tiberium Spike. I'll make four or five. I was a bit fearful of um, something coming like a titan rush or an mcv to my base like bike rush style i don't know he seems a bit like bike rush more and more as i play him anyway he's gonna be i didn't even check what faction steel talons again versus scrint so obviously i'm gonna have a small edge in that department he's going wolverine spam probably probably expects to send uh, yeah Okie dokie. Where's that rifle? Okay, let's take that up there. Okay. Oh, look at that scouting, man. Just perfect scouting for him. Amazing. This is how he's also good as well. This it's hard to get him by surprise of any sort of tra transition. He's got that Wolverine there about to cap my portal too, so let's make sure that doesn't happen. The synths over here. Gonna overrun those. You know what I'm gonna do guys? I'm going to fake Never mind. He's going for those pits. I don't know, maybe he's expecting me to go. F I'm trying to fake the air, but then I'm going to go for it anyways. But he's just. It's going to be hard to catch him by surprise. But gonna see what happens here he knows I'm taking up now to tier 3 well, that was my upgraded power plant that sucks Oh well, he's gonna go to this side of the map. That's awesome, that's fine. Hammerhead's coming in. As well as the pit balls, I need to be careful about those now. I need to try and kill the hammerhead quick as possible. He's already got the mass pit. Because he expected me to double bluff him, I suppose. How many fucking pits did he make? I didn't even do air, man. Hammerhead. Construction 
More hammerheads probably coming in. He's got no anti-infantry though. Yeah, there they are. And somehow I think I won because he's losing so much. Or not, I don't know. Kind of a weird game this. Get some repairs anyways. The double bluff tactic may have not worked. It may have worked, we don't know. Get some repairs nonetheless for these because he may have more hammerhead. So let's go out and see. That is the case. We'll go and see what's going on. He may have like Wolverines. I don't know what he's going to do now, really. Uh, any expansion down? Yeah, he does have an expansion. He's got a refinery. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have any refinery. Oh, oh I don't know. He looks a bit dodgy to me what he's up to. I don't know if he has another army over there, perhaps, I don't know. Uh, no, nah, I'm not going to kill anything here. Bang! Does get a ref down. Is he still making hammerheads? I don't know if he is. He probably's got one more, so I need to keep, get some storm riders over here just in case he's got some of those still. Can't really make more storm riders at the moment. Okay, bunch of infantry there. Well. Let's see if he's got storm ride hammerheads here. He may have. Double A, a tower, harvester there. Where's that rifle? Kill that there already. A pretty sick pickup if we can get this ref too. That's gimme GG. Wow, the double bluffing storm rider tactic worked, but he went expended too much trying to kill me. <sighs> Tons of mind games with the future armor here. So I, what I did was I powered down two of my um airfields because he knew I was going storm riders, then I made three more in the other part of my base because he probably thought I wasn't going for more storm riders and go for a tech while he does go for map tanks or something. But then he made so many pitbulls that it worked out anyways because, yeah, he he just attacked me, which was great on him, I guess. So, I, well, thanks very much to Future Honor for attacking me. That uh, was very helpful. I did why I didn't want to fight on there. I guess because I had Mega Cultist coming. Which is a pretty good combination in this patch. Maybe he doesn't want to do Mecha Spam. Nonetheless, Traveller v Scrin, obviously a really bad matchup for the Scrin guy. Alright, let's go. Is my mic on? Yeah, it is. Awesome. I think my game sounds also perfect as well, guys. I can see pretty decent leveling there. I only turned the game sound up because dry. Um, uh, hype said it was too quiet. Okay. I always go for this one first, just because I'm a screen player. It's really the the reason why I do that. You only get like ten credits more though. If you take the second one first, so it's not a big deal, really, is it?
Okay, got this here. One. Where's the second one? It's over here. It's gonna be Black Hand. Hmm. See, I'm scouting for this since he ends up being Black Hand. That's the nature of uh, random, right? That's what happens. See, when your reverse is random, you just don't know what what on earth you're up against. So you can't really... I was scouting for the synths just then, and when I realized he was black hand, obviously less desirable. Also, you guys will notice I'm clicking the middle of the Tiberium field, just so I can... My harvest doesn't have to move when it's mining Tiberium. We're going to go see if he's making that flame tank. Or what, he's got two of those on the field. Three harvesters. This looks like a fake out to me. Yeah, it's definitely a fake out, so... All I have to do is just make uh, APC. Make an APC and that's about it, really. I'll defend him back easily. Okay. Just stop him getting that Tiberium spike. He's got that bike out just to see what I'm up to. It's no secret what I'm up to, but you know. Gonna see if we can stop that bike too. No, he's not gonna get that. Okay. Wow, those have got tons of health. Holy crap. That's a pretty lot of health those have. It's not me though, who's lagging, so... Yeah, he's being hyper-aggressive here, isn't he, as well? Okay. Get that double wall factory down. All right, what are you doing now, man? Going infantry spam? Okay. Should just turn around and stop and kill that. I don't know why he's not doing that. Nonetheless, why is this harvester not harvesting? That's what I'd like to know. AP ammo does come online finally. Where the hell's that rig though? It's coming in now. Okay, holding this back. Does he have a ref down? Yeah, he does. Kilo King. No, 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 not reverse move logging. Surprised he held that so easily there. Wow. He's gonna have to stop and shoot soon. Oh, these rockers are gonna get gonna get AOE down if I'm not careful. Should have brought my harvesters in too for some damage. Yeah, 
He's actually getting thinned out now, so yeah, should be able to come through, actually, amazingly. Wow. Well, there you go. Kill the MCV. I uh, suppose you can really come back from this. Probably gonna go for it an all in now, I guess. Infantry spam. So we'll go see what he's up to. Keep in our position for now while we go ahead and scout, recon what's going on. He's got a couple of bikes, he's going for man spam too. Okay, that's fine. Might as well just move the MCB forward then and deal with him. Tanks and going for the crush actually. Doesn't matter if I lose my eco because he's going to have no units. 